The people living here, unfortunately, aren't as well aware of where they live and what's around them. Philadelphia has a huge history, very much renowned. Northeast Philadelphia, not so much. We've been left out of the mix. We are going to fix that. In ancient times, before the Europeans arrived in America, King's Highway was in existence. It's hard to imagine that uh, what is today uh, a major avenue through Philadelphia 300 years ago was a dirt road. It's very interesting and all kinds of exciting things happened along the highway. The King's Highway is significant to the early development of Northeast Philadelphia. So much of commerce and trade were centered around this one area. The King's Highway is also where George Washington marched his troops through on their way to Yorktown to defeat the British. General Washington came to Frankfurt and everybody was in big celebration mode. We had our independence. Frankfurt Avenue has served as a link from point A to point B. It's the backbone for all the other roads that branched out into Philadelphia and went inland. Some roads that branched off the King Highway were, were almost just as old. Throughout the region, there are roads that are laid out, interestingly, right across where our old trails used to be, where, where the center of Indian uh, activity, where different villages would come together, and these trails stretched all across the, the region. People had to traverse the Pennypack Creek, and the bridge was built so early on as a testament to its significance. Frankfurt Road sort of represents in many ways the workshop of the world and how that fanned out all over Philadelphia. Over the last several years, archaeologists have uncovered hundreds of thousands of Native American artifacts along and near the King's Highway. In this park, you can see something of what uh, this area of the country would have looked like thousands of years ago. Sometimes, maybe as Philadelphians, we do get a little focused on Center City. And I think there's an opportunity to really engage people about what the Northeast is doing, what their history is, and how important it is to the city as a whole. If you travel around the city of Philadelphia, whether it's Holmesburg, it's Mayfair, it's Wissanomi and Taconi, they have that kind of distinct pride. The tremendous depth of history that we have here in the Northeast, particularly in Frankfurt and the other communities, uh, is worthy of preservation. Getting tourists to our region, that requires historians, it requires skilled interpreters, it requires uh, talented tour guides to craft a message and an experience that's meaningful to them. Well, we have to preserve these buildings and historic sites so that we have something to point to. For me, I mean, this is a travesty. I mean, there's, there's so much politics involved in historic preservation that, that, that preservation is really forgotten about. There are market forces at work that make it often very difficult to keep historic buildings uh, preserved and standing. Even the Frankfurt Arsenal was on the National Register. National Historic Register does not save a building from demolition. Uh, there are uh, so many things about the King's Highway that need to be preserved uh, from where I'm sitting. It's up to us to remind people of how much history each neighborhood has. Let's let the city of Philadelphia know that we're 400,000 people strong right here in the Northeast. Right? We have a voice and your voice is heard by participating civically, being engaged in your neighborhood. People sometimes don't realize the history or they don't care. And it's hard to get the ear of someone that can help you. In I think they're evil little men that grew up and just wanted to tear down buildings. <laughs> Everywhere I look is the opportunity to reuse an incredible old world city. And every time I see a piece of that city get demolished, it pains me. One of the gravest threats to history is a general indifference to the things that surround you. And you can't afford to lose that. Otherwise, you lose the meaning of what it means to be a resident. If you want to save your neighborhood, if you want to save the historical structures in your neighborhood, one of the best things you could do is get involved with others in your community through a local uh, nonprofit or, or, or start a little group yourself. 
So you've got to find somebody, some deep pocket, some benefactor that is going to help you out. We have not been able to find any benefactors. Our, our politicians don't hear us when we scream history. It's just not on their agenda. There really would not be a Philadelphia without Northeast Philadelphia. One of the largest challenges that we face with preserving older structures, whether they're residential or commercial, industrial, is that they really need a champion. There's a lot of history that people just don't know about. So let's take a walk, let's read a plaque, right, and let's preserve Northeast Philly.